embrace my hand as a man would. Are you well? I am perfectly fine. King Malcolm would have me do so. Okay. Thank you for complimenting my efforts. I see. How is Malcolm, buddy? Are you wearing his clothes? Ah, oh, yes. King Malcolm sees gendered clothing as discriminant and oppressing. He says it fits my figure better. Aye, that it does. But it is a bit odd, is it not? I see nothing wrong with it at all. A king gets what a king wants. Do you not agree? No, of course. I concur. It's just... Uh... Never mind. How is King Malcolm? He's been very busy with his friends. He insists on seeing them one at a time, talking about safety of the throne. For some reason, he won't allow me in his bedroom while he has these meetings. Um, he must not want to give everyone a fair chance to overpower him. Smart man. Yes, well, I must continue to practice my walk. It's not refined yet. Be seeing you, Fleance. Ah, yes, I should stop bothering you. Peace be with you, uh, Lady Malcolm. Uh, call me Alex. <laughs> King Malcolm would have everyone do so. Okay. Goodbye, Alex. Hey. What have you done with this kingdom, brother? All the women walk around in men's clothing, shouting unfair generals. What does that even mean? Please, Donald Bain. You're very scary when you're loud. I'll not have you crashing in my room while my wife is in her slumber. Wife? You fool everyone. The entire English family knows of your perverted sin. No, brother. I've changed my ways. I'm no longer affected by that devilish plague. My wife's true to me, and I'm true to her. You make a mule out of me. I'll have the entire kingdom know of your lies. I should have been the heir. Stop it, brother. You're always so mean to me. I didn't even do anything. You're always jealous of the attention I got from our father. I want wealth and a place in this castle immediately. Done. As long as you let me dress you, your style is absolutely unforgivable. What is wrong with what I'm wearing? It scares me. Red makes you look like a monster. Have you killed people in those clothes? What is that ah! even? Go change right now! Things. Okay, enough. <clears throat> this is surprising. Yes, Jackson. I've been waiting for you. Please come in. What? Who is Jackson? Uh, no, no, not Jackson. It is Fleance, late Banquo's son. What a pleasant surprise. Come in. Don't mind the music. I enjoy a little bit of Papillance. Uh, it is a no bother to me. I just dropped by to ask you of your recent health. As fit as a flamboyant flamingo frolicking with fancier friends. Why do you ask me this? He's definitely of a strange affliction. Used to my advantage. Did you hear what I said? Oh, sorry my king. My thoughts consumed me for a second. What did you say? Please dance with me. I insist. Oh, uh, I appreciate the gesture, it's just that I really must go. What? You don't have time for your king? I command you dance with me. Yes, of course. A king gets what a king wants. <laughs> You're leaving so soon. You have not feasted since your strange arrival here at King Malcolm's castle. I insist you sit. Uh, I was actually in a- Sit! Room. 
I know nothing of what you speak. You talk nonsense in my ears. You cannot lie to me, Heathen. I saw you with my brother partaking in his questionable activities. Questionable activities? You know nothing. I was merely doing what my king asked of me. Yes, I could definitely use you to get that sinner out of the throne. I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Something simple. Go. What will you have me do? You will earn King Malcolm's trust. Then you will kill that fool in his sleep. I will not see this great kingdom fall to the queer likes of my brother. I cannot kill him myself, for he is my own brother. <laughs> Very well. But I shall be king when all is said and done. I should kill you right now! You're in no position to make such an insane request! Who will have King Malcolm then? He trusts no one in his castle, let alone his room, besides the people who would rather die than betray his trust! You need me, and I want the throne. As long as this kingdom is no longer strange, I will be content. Do what you must. I knew we could agree to compromise. Get out of my sight. You better complete your task before I fulfill your request. Worry not. Why did I think of this? Too easy to steal the life of one who trusts the killer. Just as before, he will allow me into his room without hesitation. He will spring upon himself his own demise. My looks. My charm. My blade. Will be used to kill him. Today. <sighs> Playons, is that you? Yes, my king. Have you come to dance again? No, my king. I was hoping to do something a bit more... personal. What did you have in mind, you robust young man? I've always known your feelings of men, King Malcolm. I have those feelings as well. What will you have done about them? <laughs> what would be the first time someone stabbed me in the back? I'm truly sorry, my king. Don't live your queer legacy. Treason! I shall have your head, heathen! You scream nonsense, Donald Bane. This was an assisted fratricide, if anything. I'll have you tricked the kingdom into thinking you are of well intentions. We will decide who will be king through the blood of our blades. You, a novice, has challenged a master to his own craft? Very well, I will make this quick. Steady. Stand. Lucky strikes don't prove your worth, boy. You will do nothing for this land. I will do what is meant to be done. And you are not meant to be king. I am.
confidence in that statement. How are you better fit than I am? What have you done? My father, when I was young, was told by three witches that he would raise a lineage of kings, but never be king himself. It rang true for Macbeth, did it not? You fool! Those witches only put momentum behind an otherwise unacted fantasy. You're only trying to make those things come true. Like he who was slain by Macduff. It's a shame you only speak wisdom when you're confronted by death. I will be the king of this land and you will be remembered as the killer of your own kin. God smiles upon me and I approach my death knowing I am in his grace. I was only here to prevent the Sodom and Gomorrah to join the brimstone falling from the sky to staunch the sin. Can you say the same, heathen? Now take me to my final resting place. I will present my breast as an honorable warrior of God. We will see what God is to do with you, but it is not my place to put you in the ground. May you find your own demise. Pray be on your terms. Now become scarce in my kingdom. May you find peace, King of Glasgow. Enough of this. I am not a masculine woman. I am beautiful, tender, and I deserve to have my figure shown as a woman would. Oh, flee aunt, where is my husband? Your husband? I have rid this kingdom of his plate, Alex. Well then, if my husband is no longer living, then... I am no longer Alex. You are what I say you are, woman. Then say you will call me Lady Freelance? 